kind of a big deal. Today's videos is more like a for the basic individual who doesn't give a fuck about a high-end niche brand who can't justify paying $100 price tag on a fragrance, let alone five, six, seven, eight hundred dollars for scented water. Let's roll my motherfucking music because I'm gonna put y'all on to 10 fragrances that I think would be perfect for your basic arsenal to get the compliments that you want, feel grown and sexy, and not break the bank so you can buy that steak dinner. Sexy Plus and morning, my beautiful peoples, you know who it is, it's your boy, C to the U to the B to the A. Got the Louis Duffel filled with 10 fragrances that are all under $50. Doesn't make sense. You got the Louis Duffel, then you got cheap ass fragrances. Where are you going with this? Well, you can be bad and bougie. If women can wear Louboutin red bottoms and Fashion Nova outfits, dudes can simply rock Louis Vuitton wearing a $50 fragrance. I don't think there's nothing wrong with that. I'm gonna go blind picking in this fucking bag and the first fragrance that I'm gonna present to you that's under 50 bucks that has the appealing quality is none other than Sunrise Urban Ice by Frank Olivier. Now Sunrise Urban Ice is a clone of a very popular summertime fragrance, Invictus Aqua. Now Invictus Aqua is not an expensive fragrance either on the second hand market. You can find that shit for a good 60 bucks, maybe even cheaper. But this one's like $20 if you shop it around. And the performance factor might be a little bit better. Frank Olivier is known for making clone fragrances, but solid clones with decent performance. And the side by side comparison to Invictus Aqua is pretty much fucking uncanny. But for a 20 to $25 price point, basically slicing that bitch in half like a Ginsu, you gonna be mad at that? Summertime vibes, projection, longevity, mass appealing, and performs like a Viagra. Next one. Now we're gonna dig in the bag and see which one comes out next. Uh, no, that's a gag ball. Woo! The next fragrance is by the house of Roberto Cavalli, and that's Womo. For me, one of the more surprising cheap fragrances that I purchased in 2019 within a $40 budget, this shit performs like a hundred plus dollar fragrance, no problem. We're talking iris, which is makeup baggy kind of smell, of honey consistency with a beautiful citrus tinge. And if you know anything about fragrances, this is kind of sort of compared to Prada Lome. However, a very inexpensive version that for me doesn't give me the headache that Prada Lome does. This one is an absolute hit. Next one. Let's reach into the Louis and see what else is next. Uh, all right. Ooh, one of my homies' favorites, by the house of Fendi, and you're like, Fendi is cheap? This particular fragrance, as far as price is concerned, is cheap. This is Fendi Fan de Fendi, Eau de Toilette, or EDT. This sum of a bitch, you can get it for around $25. Dark, sexy, woody, slightly boozy, intoxicating, gorgeous fragrance, and it has a Fendi tag on it. So if you do bring that little thought pocket home and this is on the counter, she's like, oh shit, my dude is fancy. Fancy, okay? He got Fendi on deck. Fendi that you paid $25 for and it's not from Chinatown. Beautiful fragrance performance. Mass appeal, sex appeal. Your dick will grow like three inches just wearing this fragrance. I'm just saying. It's better than those little ads of pills that you find on Craigslist. Fendi Fendi, absolute banger for a budget. Next one. Let's reach into the duffel and see what's next. New acquisition alert. This one is a clone of a very expensive fragrance by the House of Creed. For those of you who don't know who Creed is, uh, Google it. Motherfucking fragrances are like 300 plus dollars. This bitch right here is $50-ish range. However, if you wait a little bit and just give it some time, it will definitely drop in price, most likely at least by 15 to 20 bucks. The fragrance is called Armaf Club de Nuit Intense Milestone. This is a clone of Millicene Imperial by Creed, also known as one of Michael Jordan's favorite colognes. That's what I heard through the grapevine. I don't know if that's fucking true. They like to conjure up these stories just to create hype. I don't know, but I can tell you that this shit is super close to Millicene Imperial. One of the better clones that they've produced for Millicene Imperial. Initially, it was Ed Hardy's Love and Luck, which is also a great cheapie within that $15 budget, but this one definitely outperforms it and smells a little bit more manly, a little bit more aggressive, a little bit more expensive than Love and Luck. Great fragrance, pretty bottle presentation, and again, you're not hanging this shit on your neck like a pendant, so no Nobody's gonna give a flying fuck how much it costs. They just wanna know how delicious you smell. Fire, fire. Next one. Let's see which one comes out of the duffel next. Mass Appealing Whore, the club joint. 
You don't go to clubs, you go to bar and lounges, this will work particularly well. And it's Mr. Burberry by, well, Burberry. This is the Eau de Parfum concentration, so it means it's a little bit stronger, a little bit more potent. It's got a little bit of ginseng in its juice, you know what I'm saying? Super safe, has that DNA that every woman loves. It leans more to the younger gentleman, not necessarily a child, a younger gentleman. Early 20s, mid 20s, but my old ass still wears this fragrance and does get compliments on it. This was one that I was never interested in buying, and I picked this shit up at my local Marshalls just to make a video on it, and unfortunately, really liked it, I wanted to shit on it automatically. It has everything you want for a price tag of like $40. I'm gonna be pissed off because it smells good, will get you compliments, performs pretty well, and has a DNA factor that women are attracted to. That's just me being an idiot. Next one. Let's reach in the Louis and see what's next. I know what it is already just by the feel, and it's another one by Roberto Cavalli, only this one is called Deep Desire. This one's slightly more expensive because it's a newer release. This one might be in, I don't know, $45? Sweet, citrusy, cinnamon spiciness. Very beautiful fragrance, perfect for the fall and winter. Again, shares the same performance as the Womo, only this one is a little bit spicier. This one gives you a little but it's fucking sexy. This is definitely another compliment getter. Come on, son, I'm giving you shit that you on a budget. You don't want to spend that kind of bread. You don't want to blow the bank on something that's going to sit in the shelf and nobody's going to see. Put it into your car payments. Pay off those 17 credit cards that you have. Stop throwing minimum payments and you can still smell good for under 50. You're welcome, America. Next one. The next one in the Louis is none other than... Oh, this one's a little fancy and this one's a little bit risque. This is by the house of Molinard and it's called Figuet. Now, this is a niche house so it's definitely fancy so it'll be on the cover with a pretty purple bottle and shorties will be like what's that that's not doll she'll be like no 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 this ain't shit you ain't never heard i'll be like oh word yeah that's right just get naked this is more of an earthy green fig note this is more sophisticated this is more gentlemanly this might be more bow tie-ish you rocking that windsor Wear this shit. You wear blazers to work? You going into a board meeting and don't want to smell like chuck? Wear this one. Green, earthy, figgy, sweet, delicious. Smells of great fucking quality. It's around a $40 price point. My God. You want to be exclusive for $40? Right here, son. Next one. Narrowing it down. I already know what bottle this is. I was one of the people that hyped this shit to death. And with good reason. Because if you know the House of Creed or you don't know them, they're super popular house. They're copied by everybody. Only this brand, Armaf, took two fragrances. Green Irish Tweed and Creed Aventus jam fucked them together and put them in a fucking bottle for $20. Le Parfait by Armaf. Now what you're thinking, there's no way, fam, that a $20 bottle can smell good. A word? Then you smoking rocks, my guy. If you want the mass appealing shit and you're not into this whole frag com shit and you just don't care, you just want to smell good, you want to smell safe, you want to smell attractive, you want to be like a lion in the middle of the jungle waiting to pounce and mate. I don't go to Africa and see the jungles. I'm from the hood. I got my own jungle. Super mass appealing, green, bright. Think of squeezing pineapple all over yourself while in the middle of Central Park while it was just watered grass. Fuck, that was a strong analogy. This one might be the most popular one in this shit because this motherfucker sold like hotcakes. Of course I dropped the video because I'm lit out here in these streets, so trust me. For 20 to $25, you cannot go wrong. Next one. Second to last that I'm pulling out is by the house of Banana Republic. Now y'all motherfuckers know what Banana Republic is. You especially, you went to Catholic school. You was rocking chinos and wallabies. Don't be fronting, my guy. Fragrance is none other than Linen Vetiver. Think of soft, fresh out of the shower, cuddly, sexy, not aggressive, not abrasive, it's not loud, super clean feeling, citrusy, motherfucking tied all over you without your body breaking out in a rash. This is my favorite from that line. I can't tell you what this shit makes me feel. It feels like, I don't know, like I'm cuddling with Snuggle the Teddy Bear. Spring and summertime only in the winter, this shit will dissipate like your soul. Wonderful fragrance that you can get for under 40 bucks, probably within a 25 to $30 range and will perform fairly decent for the price. Again, summertime and spring vibes, but awesome. Last one. Last and certainly not least, this one is a little bit aggressive and it might be slightly abrasive, but if you want the performance factor, because this shit lasts on your skin, that you might need to use a Brillo brush to get it off. It smells a little bit musky with a slight metallic tinge, but it's also very mass appealing and especially when the dry down comes in, it just smells like a fucking gem. The fragrance is by the house of Rasasi 
in Tiba. Can't tell you the history behind the shit. This is some Middle Eastern flow, but what I can tell you is that, woo, this bitch lasts. Got a mass appealingness, a juiciness, a muskiness. You wanna spell masculine? You wanna smell like you just slaughtered animals just to eat? Be like, yeah, nah, what'd you do this weekend? Nah, nothing. I chilled in the forest hunting for 12 hours while pissing on myself, but I snipered like three bears and I ate the deer right there in the middle of the woods. This might be something for you. Wear more outdoors. Cold weather, it will work, but it does perform and it projects a little bit crazy in the first hour. So just keep in mind that you might choke a motherfucker or two out when they around you, but I'm telling you, once it winds down onto your skin, this shit becomes crazy. Rasasi and Tiba is my last one, son. That's pretty much it, bro. I'm not trying to make this video super complicated for your minds. If you're here checking out this video, you're here for a number of reasons. Yo, I'm on a budget, fam. I know you like fragrances, but I ain't spending $100. All of these are under $50. So Cuba, I go to college and I stay eating ramen and peanut butter and jelly sandwiches on whole wheat bread that's slightly moldy. I ain't got that kind of paper. I got you. They're all under 50. Yo, Cuba, I'm trying to impress this chick, but she doesn't notice me. And you know, I'm slightly good looking, but not really. So I need a little hitch in my giddy up. I got you. These shits all smell good. I can't fix ugly, but I might as well add a little lipstick to the pig and help you out. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart. All these shits is ball sprays and I see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is? It's the biggest in the fucking game. I never stink, even when I stink. Smooches. Hold a money folder, hold a roller, start tack when it's time to call back. For the rough, rugged, and raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey, for all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse, sweet on top of my mom's crib. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would.